The 800,000 federal workers who aren't getting paid are the first to feel the impact, but the effects are quickly rippling through the economy. And now some small business owners are worried that they're getting pinched. Kate Rogers has our story. Kimberly Stewart runs Stepping Stone Consulting in Northern Virginia, a three-person company doing both contract work for the government and small business consulting. Federal contracts make up about one-third of her business, and due to the shutdown, her company has been notified to stop work on a project with the Department of Transportation, a first for Stewart, who says she's worked through previous shutdowns. It's more than 800,000 federal employees that are being impacted. It's the small businesses, small businesses that are really, truly at risk of going out of business. Stewart planned ahead for a potential government closure with cash reserves and is shifting her focus to consulting work to make up some of the revenue she's missing out on during the shutdown. But she says her business is jeopardized the longer this drags on. Having the shutdown go on for such a long time, um, it really does put my business at risk. Um, it is a third of my revenue right now, and I did build up a reserve, but I'm eating that reserve at this point. Meanwhile, in Houston, Texas, Helen Callier says she's without an important resource, the Small Business Administration. Her company, Bradlink, is also a government contractor. While she's able to continue her contract work, she's unable to work with the SBA's 8A program on business development during the shutdown to attempt to gain work on future contracts. The challenge that we have is that key folks that we need to leverage to go after contracts uh, in that program, they are not working. That's, uh, that's an impact that we're being real creative to see how we can still make something happen. Both business owners urge leaders in Washington to come to an agreement to end the pain for federal workers, contractors and small businesses across the country. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Kate Rogers.